Hey guys and welcome to a new video. As it is now 2019, I thought it'd be a good idea to talk a little bit about what Valve should do in 2019 with TF2 and kind of what I hope to see from Valve this year. Really quickly before we fully get into this video, if you do go on to enjoy it, then definitely make sure you leave it a like and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It really helps me out, takes no time for you to do. Anyway, let's get on with the actual video. I think the main thing I want to see Valve do with TF2 this year is to just give us a major update. We kind of got the competitive revamp thing last year, that was a little bit meh, and it was in October of 2017 that we got the Pyro update. I don't know why people keep thinking that we are going to be getting the heavy update next, because when the vote came out to start with, it said that only one class would get the update, and not both. So what people have been waiting for, for the, all this time, I have no idea, or what Valve were even working on at all. I mean, they could have said somewhere that it was the heavy update, or maybe I'm remembering the vote thing wrong. But if I am, that's cool, whatever. If not, and we are getting the heavy update, that's still cool. Like, cool, I don't care. Or if we're getting something else, cool. As long as it's a major update, and it actually has some good stuff in it. But I would also like to see the traditional updates we get every year, like Scream Fortress and Smithmas. However disappointing some of them may be, just literally getting that update means a lot even though I complained about Smithsmith literally a few days ago. The video banged though. Another thing I want to see the TF team work on in 2019 is communication. This has been a thing people have been asking for and asking about for absolutely years now. All they could do, all they have to do, is write a blog post every month, week, whatever schedule they decide to put it on, and talk about what they've been working on, when we can expect something, and basically just how things are going and stuff like that. Big companies like Valve seriously struggle with communication and it honestly drives me insane considering at one point the TF team had something like five writers or something like that on it. I think that was one of the rumors going around. It shouldn't be too much to ask for a blog post or two if most of the team is made up of writers. I, I, I don't know. I think I'm quite out, to, out of date with the whole rumors about how the TF team is right now. There might be five programmers on it. There might be a massive team. I don't know. I don't really care. I just kind of... I just kind of want to hear from them, you know? Make some friends. But it would just mean that the community have a better estimate as to when a big update is coming, what the TF team is planning on doing, and just a bunch of other stuff, and the community will just be able to hear from the team, which is really all we want. We don't care what they say, we just want to hear from them. <laughs> we kind of want to know that people are still working on the game for us, and still, like, actually trying to make something for us and that they do still care about the community. Just little things like that, literally writing a really short blog post, not a really short blog post, but writing a decent blog post a month gives the community so much more faith that the company they've invested that much into is still listening to them and still cares. One thing Valve actually does do really well, because I don't want to bash on them two videos in a row, is that they support charity events and organisations amazingly. When it comes to getting a badge added into the game, they are always timely and efficient with it as far as I know. There could have been some drama I'm unaware of, but the Blapachico badges have always been fairly shortly after the event, which is always really good, so we've done quite well there. So I would like Valve to continue showing support for charities like this, because yeah, they do that really well. And I feel like just getting a badge put into a game by a group of people that want to do a charity event and give people rewards, I think that's a really awesome thing to do. And posting about it on the blog, because that are the, they are the only posts we get. Honestly, I think to wrap this video up, I would like to see Valve support more tournaments in 2019. Maybe give some money to Insomnia to make the prize pool bigger. That way Valve aren't actually just organising the whole tournament themselves and doing all the work, but they've become a big part of it and they've made themselves look really, really good in the process. I mean, if Valve wants to run their own tournament for TF2 next year, that'd be incredible. i try my best to be there. I probably might not be able to make it, but I'll try my best. Because we could always do with something like that. Just anything Valve can do, like giving a bit of money to a prize pool, because you know, they've put 22 million into Dota as a prize pool. I think they can I think they can spare 50k for a, a TF2 one maybe but this will genuinely make the world of difference to so many different people because the competitive TF2 scene have been trying so much harder to grow the game than basically anybody else in the community and they literally just get ignored from Valve so having Valve give some money to a tournament that they're running will be life-changing for a lot of these people and it gives them so much more faith that Valve actually still cares. 
A lot of people were saying in the comments on my last video that Valve literally don't care about TF2 anymore and that we are literally there just to make money for them. While that might be true, I feel like the TF team definitely cares a lot about the game. There have been people who are on the team who have been working on this game for 10 years or something like that. Like, there's people who have been there from the very, very start that are still working on the game today, which is a big, big deal. So I know they care, even if Valve as a whole don't. So yeah, that's basically all I, all I have to say. Thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure you leave it a like and also comment down below what you want to see Valve do in TF2 this year. Maybe it's something big. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's literally just showing that they still care in some little way that's going to mean a lot to you. I don't know. While you're down there liking and commenting the video, if you could also click the subscribe button as well, maybe the notification bell as well. Who knows? I don't know. But yeah, if you could do that, that'd be awesome. So with that, that's going to do it for the video. I hope you did enjoy it once again, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.